Howdy ho again, everyone. Today we're returning to one of the strangest games in the Sims universe. It's the Herbs, Sims in the City from 2004. Today, the American dream is dead. But back in the innocent world of 2004, it was still alive and kicking. This game, like many others in the franchise, is all about self-improvement and pulling oneself up by the bootstraps. Improving your skills, getting richer, getting more popular, and ultimately achieving total self-actualization by impressing and seducing everyone in town. Ultimately, becoming the most popular sim to ever walk the streets of Sim City. Today, we're returning to these streets as our protagonist, Mr. Um, Chad Ambiguous. There he is, Chad Ambiguous. Behold my dad bod and culturally appropriated haircut. My quest to become popular has begun. It would behoove me to enter the city, but not before we do some dumpster diving to find some money. Oh, we found nothing. All right, time to embark upon a new life of becoming popular in the city. It's time to visit Neon East. Go, Chad, live up to your name. In order to become popular, one must first master the art of watching anime in one's room. It all begins here in the mystical lands of Neon East. You need the money, then you spend the money on the clothes to impress, and then you make friends with the sexy ladies, painting their faces like Naruto. Okay, let's get started. Level one newbie herb on the road to become the most popular sim to ever live. I am a hard worker. I will impress the locals by taking the first job as assistant chef. Do I want to know how to run the restaurant at this level? No, I'm sure I'll get by just fine. Okay, there goes Chad. Oh look, the, they've come to cheer me on doing my job. Keep complimenting me to make me do a better job. Oh, I've already made $380. Even the police officer wants to get some. He can't even comprehend how much sushi I've made. It's gonna be such a great deal. Although at the price of sushi these days, honestly, the amount I made for making 10 plates of sushi is not a surprise. Go, Chad, eat with the locals. Well, the sushi is actually coming off the plate as he eat. I forgot, although, what are they eating? Good job, Chad, you've already begun. Now take care of your toilet needs. In order to become popular, it behooves us to learn to poop efficiently so that we can spend more time socializing. Ew, she didn't wash her hands. Well, now that I am clean and rich, it's time to socialize and meet the ladies. But not before I change my garments so that they will be impressed by my threads. It's not borderline personality disorder if it's making me more popular with women. Yet another culture from which I can appropriate my hairstyle. I look good. This is amazing. I already look like the final boss in a video game. Behold my dumpy looking body and impressive sense of fashion. Look out world, here comes Mr. Popular. I use my new clothing to talk to women. This totally reinvents the term peacocking. Let me begin by tickling, yes, tickling a stranger. I guess that didn't go over so well. Well, I'll just tickle you then. Tickles and hugs from complete strangers. You're not even the person I'm working for here. All right, let me try it with my boss. I guess M Mazuiko. I think that she's my boss. Let me greet her by giving her a hug, I guess. This is, uh, allowed in our employment arrangement. Thank you, I needed that. I've been sitting inside and watching anime all week. Want to learn a naughty strip tease? It really wows them up in Diamond Heights. Why, yes, let's keep tickling you. How is tickling someone considered an icebreaker? I miss the innocent days of 2004 when it was still accept- I don't even think this was acceptable when this game was made. This would have been frowned upon at the least. I will just see how many times it takes until this gets awkward and unacceptable, and then the police officer will take me away. Nope, it's still working. It's still the only green option. We're already at social level nine. All right, we've made an invite to the midnight party at the Pulse here in Neon East. Wow, look at her walk away in slow motion. That's very hot. Wouldn't it be nice to go out with a gamer girl? Oh, there they go partying without me. Now I just have to get past the large, large bouncer. All right, I've made it in past the bouncer. Look out, everyone. Here comes future Mr. Popular. It's tickle time. Everyone knows what to expect when they see Chad ambiguous coming up the rear. I love the way that he's all nonchalant, just scratching his neck and then just goes out into a full-blown attack. attack. 
tickle attack. All right, I suppose it's time to learn some new moves. Let's uh, get in with, what was her name again? I don't even remember your name. I'm just gonna start talking to you again, but you're the one who's going to teach me to, I think, strip tease? What is her name? Uh, Mazu Mazuiko, I'm probably butchering that. Just because I used to be a stripper doesn't mean I'm uneducated. In fact, if you help me at my restaurant, I'll teach you a few tricks to help deal with problem customers. Wait a minute, slap! We must speak to her more. Oh no, all this socializing is getting me tired out. It's time to go to bed. I'm just going to have to sleep in this conveniently placed bedroom for a few minutes and then it's back to making sushi tomorrow and socializing. Okay, I've completely fulfilled my need to sleep in like 15 minutes. And so commences the grind of working, making money and socializing to improve. All right, if we want the promotion, we're going to need um, artistic skill of of level 10, so we need a, a sh, a sh, schniz, a a schnizzelator to work on our skills. Oh, it's not even available in the shop. That's just a re another reminder of how poor I am. Oh, well, I don't have enough money to pay for a jukebox, so let's just dance to this boombox in here. That will cause greater enjoyment and mirth. I can feel the excitement flowing throughout my body. I'm going to die alone. But not only do I dance alone, I also eat alone too now. The people of this neighborhood literally do not sleep at all. While you danced, I trained and learned the art of discipline. All right, if Darius wants me to get more popular, it means I need to tickle everyone again. Maybe this guy who just looks totally out of place in this neighborhood, he'll like it if I bragged him. All right, this is a little more original, I suppose. Look at me go, I'm already at social level 15, interrupting other people's conversations to tickle them both. I'm sure that'll go over well. Ooh, I've learned Holozam or Xam, whatever it is. It, it is bound to be a, a secret jutsu. Look at Darius's face in the lower right. He's never in a good mood. He always has like a mild scowl, evaluating the dancers. All right, the frame rate is beginning to make my eyes bleed. I think it's time to tickle a few more people and then get out of here. They seem to like this hollow Zam move. Ooh, battle! Give him a back rub. He would only mildly enjoy that. Let's try it anyway. Prepare that back for some rubbing. I'm coming from behind. Uh, he, uh, he must be very sensitive. Oh no, my social skill is depleting before my very eyes. I have to do something good in order to make up for it. Maybe I'll gossip instead. You like video games? Me too. If we were friends, I'd show you a new one I got. It's giga. Oh yes! As it happens, I'm playing a video game right now. Ooh, I've made it out to Cosmo Street to meet the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, I've made it to level three wannabe. I have no skills whatsoever, but... Uh, I am improving. I have had two urinations. Uh, I've unfortunately not taken any baths yet, but eaten two meals and had 33 conversations times naked. <laughs> Aw, zero. We'll have to change that. Yes, another social move, game on. All right, I could stay in anime land all day, but I think it's time we go meet the Black Eyed Peas. Goodbye, Neon East. Uh, honestly, one of the best neighborhoods in this game. Here comes Chad Ambiguous, watch out. My popularity is growing more and more bulbous and going to my head. Oh God, where should we go first? Oh, let's go to the bar. Do a bartending job. I'm qualified for, of course I am qualified for this. Oh, there are the Black Eyed Peas right now. Let me serve you, Black Eyed Peas. Thank you for your music. All right, here we go. I guess Will I Am, after his stint with the Black Eyed Peas, has now become a, a, like a purveyor of, of alcoholic beverages. All right, yes, every bartender needs to sleep, although unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a bed anywhere nearby, so I guess I'll just make the money for the day and then leave. Since, look, the bed is all the way over here. See, I got fired from the job for sleeping. Oh, uh, we did do something. I'm not quite sure what. Did we earn money? Who knows? Nope, no idea. Why is she walking like that? It looks like she's broken her legs. She should go to the doctor for an exam. It's tickle time, Fergie. All right, that worked. 
surprisingly. Time for a nice poop again. Back to another exciting day of bartending. Oh, please, Will I Am, accept me as one of your own. My entire purpose in life is to become more popular so that you will love and accept me. And if you don't accept me, then I'll just sneak out of the shadows and here I come. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, it's time for a brief trip to the store. We've unlocked the mental machination station. In today's high-tech economy, anyone without the mental skills is doomed to poverty forever. You get smart and you get rich. The correlation is 100% logical, 100% reproducible, and 100% predictable. Facts. All right, it's time to buy the mental machination station and go home for some finger button mashing. And I'm not talking about sex. Chad, let's take you over to the mental machination station, which honestly looks like the electric chair. Let me just change into my futuristic clothing. Right, and this is probably the most painful mini game in The Sims. I'm just mashing the A button. It's very painful. Oh, I can feel myself getting smarter every second. Actually, it doesn't really require that much speed. It's more just about endurance, which this is a rather painful thing, my thumb. I'm convulsing, level five. Only he who endures great pains can become the most popular sim. So this is the story of becoming more popular, just experiencing greater and greater physical torture all for a transactional good. Uh... Oh! 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 All right, we've made it to level 10. It's time to get off the machine, and I am now smarter. Time for a shower, and then I'll be back to Cosmo Street to impress the black-eyed peas. Time to return to my job for my promotion and make twice as much money. All right, it's not a job anymore. It's a career. Oh, another successful day of work. I've made enough money to buy the right clothes and fit in. Look out, black-eyed peas. Here comes... Mr. Popular. Bruh, I'm a pimp. Now Will I Am will accept me. I can't decide whether I'm really cool or whether I'm just some sort of advanced neck beard. But let's continue with confidence. Fake it uh, uh, till you make it, as they say. All right, I've reached level five poser. Improvement, I guess. Uh, let's try another back rub. My goal is to just become the creepiest popular person of all time. Oh, look, this back rub went surprisingly well. Yes, I'm appearing on posters throughout the town now. Am I up yet? No, it's still mostly Darius around the town. He is very cool. Come on, Will I Am, let me in the club with Darius. No, I can't get into this club. I don't have enough rep. Oh, Will. Goodbye. Finally, I'm improving and getting cooler, able to street dance. Honestly, doing dance moves that would be hazardous to one's hairline. All right, we're learning new social moves. Pub song. Yes, I've finally made it. Level six poser backstage at the Cosmo Street night party. Finally, I've made $900, enough to afford more advanced mind alteration devices. Ooh, now I can tango as well. Wow. I'm really fitting in with the in crowd now. Let me go chat with Taboo and Apple D. All right, pub song. Finally, I'm getting in. Now, level seven emulator. Finally, a positive title. And I've made my way ooh, to Diamond Heights. Finally, I'm able to get into the club past the problematically obese and top-heavy bouncer. I can't really tell where his chin ends and his neck begins. Oh no, it's Yurangu McBain, the villainous terror of Cosmo Street. Here to... Oh, take my money. All right. I lost $50. No matter, I'll just sleep in the club until tonight when Darius will arrive to give me another power social. All right, and we've unlocked the exercycle to become more physically powerful. Here he comes in his track suit. Go, Chad, go meet with Darius at the club. Yes, power cord. I can finally use this to defeat Yurangu McBain. But until then, it's time to buy an exercycle. Is your disgusting flabby body holding Holding you back from all the rich rewards life has to offer? Stop whining and start pedaling. The exercise will transform you from weak to awesome physical physique. Man, they really put a lot of effort into these descriptions in these old games. I miss this. Well, while I'm not sure that any amount of cycling will ever make up for my disgusting physical body, I do think that self-inflicted torture, uh, if directed in the pursuit of discipline, is always a worthwhile endeavor, of course. Oh no, unfortunately the wall is preventing me from getting on. Can't you brainstorm a way to get over to the bike, Chad? We'll just have to move 
move over your other torture devices to another part of the room. And there we go, right in the middle of the living room, just like the last one. Ah, uh, here I come for another half hour of self-inflicted torture. Wow, that outfit really brings out the curves and bulges in your body, Chad. I like how he opted to keep on the hat, the sunglasses, and the mustache, and just change the rest for the sake of exercise. Already level one and two, three, four, five, and 10. Look at my legs, how are they even physically capable of all this? And despite the fact that I live in a dingy apartment, now we've now made our way to Diamond Heights. A neighborhood home to gold-encrusted fountains. Precarious and ill-advised architectural sky bridge decision-making. Yeah, I, I feel pretty safe crossing that in the open air on a windy day. Look, here I go. Uh, uh, and I'm just about ready to say that I've made it. I'm level 45 in social. I'm much more popular than I was when I started. I'm best friends with Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas. And I've achieved skills in both mental and physical activities. I've even gotten naked once, off camera. Who knows what lies next in the journey of our hero and protagonist, Chad Ambiguous. Bigger and better things. Or maybe just illegally bathing in a public fountain. My money's on the ladder, but who knows what will happen. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me on this incredible journey. This is really one of my favorite and most nostalgic games growing up with the Sims on console. So uh, if you did make it to this part, I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there's any other Sims games you want to see me cover because there's a lot of weird and quirky spin-offs that I'm dying to get my hands on again. Well, as always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. A big thanks to my patrons, many of whom would eagerly consent to tickling. Until next time.